Hey Ashley, in this video I'm going to show you how I took your composition and was able to use my virtual instrument. So we'll talk a little bit about MIDI really quick. So right now I'm in MuseScore and all I'm going to do is export the MIDI file. And MIDI just stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. It's basically the computer language that allows the computer to talk to whatever sound generator. So I'm going to be able to use any sounds for these notes. And this has been around for the 80s. I don't know why MuseScore is still using this crappy um, sound generator. Everything basically uses this garrison symphony orchestra and there are so many better things out there so first things first all i did was export the midi file next i'm going to open up logic pro and show you how i use my instruments really quick so i'll pause this all right now i'm in logic pro and this is basically what comes after GarageBand. You might have a free version of GarageBand or you could probably get the app on your iPhone or your tablet. I actually never used GarageBand. I went right to this and the only reason I had to convert to this and a Mac is because this allows you to have a video playing that you can score along to. So if you were going to be scoring movie to a video game, you could probably get some kind of a video of it and you'll be able to see the screen while you compose. All right, so right here I have two tracks set up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to import your MIDI file from MuseScore. So I go to import MIDI file And it's right on the desktop. There it is, MIDI file. And you'll see I have two tracks. This is the travel and that's the bass. And I put them in new, um, each one of these is like an instrument. So if I had several things going on, each one would have a track. If I had a drum track, if I had the main singer. Anyway, we have a treble and we have a bass. And then for some reason it added these extra things. All right, so I'm just gonna delete those real quick. We don't need a bunch of extra stuff. And then, Here's the beauty of MIDI. I can use any one of my instrument generators and I have a handful that I use all the time. So for the piano, I have this Alicia Keys piano. It's a little bright for my taste. My favorite is this emotional piano and it is very soft and muted. Maybe other people would say too muted, but it's perfect for what I like. Um, if I hit the keys on my digital piano, that's a little sample of what that would sound like. And then, let's see if it's set up to play your track. This is your MIDI file using this instrument generator. And I can play around with it a little bit, like we didn't add any pedal, so to add some resonance, I put the reverb on, I used some of the special effects like blur is really pretty, O-ring is good for like long And you see, this took less than two minutes. All I needed was your MIDI file and then I ran it through my virtual instruments. And then just for fun, I'll show you some of the other virtual instruments that I can use. 
Um, let's say I wanted to do the treble. Maybe the treble, I'm gonna try, I'll show you my cello real quick. So I love the cello and I thought I'd have to wait until my next life. Or I cheated and I put um, cello strings, they have octave violin strings tuned an octave down. <laughs> I was cheating and using that, but they broke. So anyway, I can go to, I'll show you my emotional cello. I do not have to wait. So I just X out of the piano. I do not have to wait to play the cello. I can have cello right now. <laughs> so let's see what it sounds like when the bass is going to play the piano, the treble is going to play the cello. Let's see how good this sounds. this in the cello we could plan ahead but these are superior to what MuseScore uses because somebody actually recorded and sampled an actual cello um, in that Alicia Keys piano somebody literally went to Alicia Keys piano recorded exactly what it sounded like so we are using real instruments uh, let me show you something for fun. I can go into, let's see, I have a whole orchestra. This is Metropolis Arc. Um, let's see. Let's try this bassoon section. I like the low stuff, so this may be a little too high for that, but let's see what it sounds like. too high for the bassoons. Uh, all right, let me see what else I got. Instruments. Orchestra. Mm. All right, I'll try these high strings. And they have all different kind of articulations. Like, I might want the, oh, just for fun. Let's see what the Bartok pizzicato colmiegno sounds like. So that's going to be a pizzicato and using the wood and up an octave. Let's just see what it sounds like. And I'll scooch this over to here. For some reason, it's not activated on that one. All right, that one's not working. Oh, I know what I did. I didn't X out of that. All right, let's try that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So it's a pizzicato using the wood of the bow. So that one didn't work out perfectly, but let's try something else fun. Um, let me go into Arcane is a bunch of free 
instruments and some of these are great for like horror movies. Um, this violin isn't too bad. It's okay. My cello is much better. So we didn't have something long enough to activate. I could probably do a pizzicato. Uh, let me go into Oh, the voice is kind of cool. So I am not a singer at all, but anytime I want to do something that sounds kind of like a Gregorian chant. I guess it's not, um, the notes aren't long enough to activate the voice. Let's try something else. Maybe dungeon key. No, actually the seance might be cool. Again, I don't know if it's gonna be long enough of a note, but we'll try it. There we go. It's kind of like a Renaissance harpsichord. sounds like a dulcimer and I could make it softer or more muted using the different patches I have. But anyway, this is so cool because you can literally get any virtual instrument under the sun. It is recorded real instrument, so it's going to sound so much more realistic. And then we have all kinds of different effects. We can run them through. Um, when I was doing some film scoring, I even got this damage. I don't know if this is still activated because I tried to sell it. But anyway, they have, I can compose with exploding cars. And let's see what this is. <laughs> it's kind of cool because you can literally take any MIDI file and run it through an infinite combination of different sounds and the sky is the limit of what you come up with. So sometimes there's an element of chance music to this where I can take something that was a melody in the piano and when I put it in a percussion or something weird I get something totally off the wall. So anyway this is an introduction to MIDI and virtual instruments and the possibilities that we have when we go beyond these cheap, cheesy, crappy uh, Garretton orchestra that they build into something like Muse Score, we have so many more options. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for some Windows based options where you can use virtual instruments and then. Some of these are a little more expensive than the others, and then there's a lot of free ones going around. When I got my first MIDI controller, it came with a ton of stuff built into it. Um, what most TV and film score composers use is this, let's see, it's called Omnisphere 2. It's to the point now where I'll be watching a TV show and I'll hear something. I'm like, that's the exact sound I hear all the time. So different composers have their different cliches and tricks. My go-to instruments are these emotional piano and the emotional cello. Um, this is what I hear all kinds of TV composers using. So I'll start looking for some Windows-based options, and I'll send you some resources for, for some free MIDI instruments. But at least now you know that anytime you compose something in MuseScore, you can just export that MIDI file and run it through a different virtual instrument, and you will have an infin infinitely better recording that sounds much more professional. All right, I'll make you some more videos in a few minutes.